Hey, how you guys doing? Well, this uh, video is about a very hidden defect that is very dangerous. And if you have an older furnace, you can easily get the name of the furnace, get the serial number and a model number and go on the internet. And you might find out that it has a crack in the heat exchanger. Now, a lot of times builders, I'm sorry, uh, HVAC contractor will tell you it's not worth fixing. They want to sell you a new furnace. Nah, I don't know about that. So here we go. Here's a, here's a box. It comes in. It's free. They'll give you a new one, okay? But you got to pay somebody to take it apart. So this is, a, this is the furnace we're talking about here. I'm going to take out the heat exchanger, all right? And because we know that they had problems with, with lots of these furnaces. And so we took this heat exchanger out. And now you can see right there is one crack, okay? Um, there's like four cracks in this thing, okay? And it's hard to take pictures. Oh, there you go. There's another one there. See it right there? Okay. And, you know, when you have cracks in the heat exchanger, it can suck in air, um, and cause problems with incomplete combustion. And incomplete combustion could mean carbon monoxide. There's a crack right there, see we're right here. So this, so then we just replaced this thing, okay? And we threw this out. So this is this is the heat exchanger. This is the part that you that is the, you can't get to. And when and home inspectors they, they they like do heat exchanger tests. They don't know what they're talking about. You can't you can't test the heat exchanger without taking the thing out. I mean, you saw how hard it was to look at once you took it out. So these home inspectors try to tell you that you know there's a crack, or they use their wands and they check for CO at the register. You know, um, it's very difficult to do that. You need to do a combustion analysis with any old furnace, and that's checking the flu flu uh, flu fluent the flue gas. And I got a lot of videos uh, on that on YouTube. You can check those out. I'll do a few more. But so this heat exchanger was replaced, was taken out and re replaced, and it cost me. Um, this is actually actually one of my places, and I think it cost me two hundred fifty bucks. Okay, to replace the heat exchanger, and that's the old one. And you can see that's another thing. See how dark it is? That's where the flame hits it, and you could get what's called heat transfer. And heat transfer can also lead to carbon monoxide. So carbon monoxide can be can, could be caused by many things. Uh, it could be from dirty, um, dirty orifices, alignment of the orifices, the mechanical speed of the blower. Okay, um, it could be the venting uh, of the unit. It could be overfired. It could be under fire. It could be combustion, air makeup air. And of course, I just said it, heat transfer. And so these are all these ways that you could have carbon monoxide generated from an old furnace. So really go down and look at your furnaces if they're old. Maybe, maybe just get a new one. But you can get a free heat exchanger if there's if they're still within that period. So you might, might want to check it out. So that is the furnace. And that's the heat exchanger. And that's the new heat exchanger. See it? Brand spanking new. Free. You better pay for, for shipping. Okay. And you can see how new that is. And the manufacturers were giving them to you for free. Because um, there was defects in a lot of these. That's the old one. Pack in the box. So, hey. By the way. If you have any house problems house issues, things that people can't solve, just Google, call Marco with a question, and Marco is with a K, call Marco with a question, and it'll prompt me to a PayPal site, which is www.houseinvestigations.com, and you can send me some photos if you want. There'll be an email there, and I can look at them, and then I'll call you back or you call me. For, for $29 is the fee for 2022, up maybe a couple of years after that. Uh, on solving your house problems, especially if people can't have done over 4,000, I'm sorry, 18,000 homes, been doing this for 40 years. And um, so, and I have a lot of a lot of certifications and licenses. So give me a call. Also down below, um, I have some products that uh, uh, I'm an Amazon affiliate. Please buy for me. I don't really get make any money from these, but that helps. 
Um, and I'll try to put products on there that may be associated with the video that we're watching. Also, up top or down the side, please ring the bell to get my future videos. Please rate, subscribe, and share. So, real quick, look at your furnace. If it's old, look at the serial number. Look at the model number. Get on a computer. The, the, the keyword is correct heat exchangers. And, you know, you'll find the, if they're bad, there's an issue on it, you'll get to it. Or you can call the manufacturer and they'll let you know if, if there was a recall on them, if not. Um, if they don't have them anymore and it's like 30, 40 years old, maybe get a new furnace. And the last thing you could do, if all else fails, not, not all else fails. You need to do this. If your furnace is older, you must have a combustion analysis done on it. They'll drill a hole in the flue, hook it up to a computer, and it'll do a combustion analysis. And then they'll test the draft to make sure it's safe. And both those tests need to be done. And the way you'll know they do it, because there'll be a hole drilled in your flue, and they'll either patch it up or not. You don't have to patch it up. It doesn't matter because it's draft. So, hey, thanks for coming on. Call Mark with a question. Please rate, subscribe, and share.